Well, that's not working. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to Margaret. Welcome to Margaret being Margaret. And it's not working. <laughs> being Margaret. Oh. <laughs> being Margaret's not working right now. Let's try this instead. I know this works. <sighs> you know those steak knives that are sharp enough to cut your arms off? That's the only thing I found that's working on this. And it does work, so they're worth buying. And I'm just trying to be careful not to cut the water lines. You know, that would be kind of counterproductive. And all I want to do is smooth it out enough that if I put a coat of paint on it, it kind of disguises. And it really will. It'll look like horrible plaster work which is better than what it looks like now. My glasses are fogging up. <sighs> Remember I told you I had to get this done this week. It's the last chance I've got to get some of the house things done before I am not around during the day. And I'm toying with the idea of getting one more thing of insulation, the can insulation, and seeing if as I do it, I can kind of use a, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'll say spatula because I can't think of the word. Just something to scrape it across and make it look a little bit straighter. Because this is about as good as I'm going to get it right now. Let me get you a little, I'm trying to fix my glasses. Do you see that? Let me get you a little closer so you can see. Right now, not quite good enough, but close. I like to fill this in a little bit, fill in a couple of those gaps. This is okay. I know I have to pull this out and vacuum behind it, but that's the least of my worries. Because if I fill it in enough, once you put the paint on it, it really will kind of disappear. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Let me just clean up. <sighs> Hi. I want to sit. I'm sitting kitty corner because I want to see my nativity scene one more time before I take it down. Hope you all had a great Christmas. I did. I um. I just smile. <laughs> Christmas Eve was at my sister Bernie's house with my nephew and his family, my niece and her family, uh, Michael, Nikki, and the baby, and Bernie's stepdaughter, Dave's daughter. And it's always a fun time. Well, we got there, I got there, and my nephew and his family didn't end up coming because they had quite a ways to travel. And I'll tell you why in a minute. And my niece Kyle wasn't feeling well and didn't dare spread it around. So she sent her husband Brian and her kids. So that was really nice, but we missed Kyle. I missed Christopher and his whole family. And, um, then Jen, Jen Volley, my little shout out, <laughs> hopefully this will make Jen feel better if she's not better already, was also not feeling well. So it got quiet real fast Christmas Eve. It was still very, very nice, very relaxing. Um, always thrilled, always thrilled. So, you know, the kids packed up early, all of them, to get home before Santa got to Massachusetts. You never want to catch Santa in your house. You want to be asleep. I stuck around for a little while and had a great time. So that was Christmas Eve. Christmas Day, I got up very early and went to Mike and Nikki's to see the baby open a couple of gifts. And um, it's the first time I've spent Christmas with Mike and Nikki. Oh, I'm in heaven. You know, it's just so special. So between those two things, I was gonna be smiling all day. When I left Mike and Nikki's, I drove by Dennis's house, um, the son I'm estranged from, and did not knock on his door or sing. I chickened out. I did go to the door and put, I always make slippers for them. I put the slippers in the door and left. Um, my day was too good <laughs> to ruin with rejection. <laughs> so Merry Christmas, Dennis. If you ever 
know that your mom is thinking of you. From there, I came home and did nothing. I actually took a nap at one point, um, very short one, but it felt so good. Then I ended up making that little bit of filet mignon that I still had left from 10 months ago. In fact, I just had a sandwich from it now. Yes, I know. I make sandwiches from filet mignon, but it tastes better than eating it with, the, with anything else. So that was my Christmas in a nutshell. The only thing that makes it even more special, if that's possible, is my sister Bernie, every Christmas, makes, <laughs> this is what's left, and she gave me this whole thing, the um, banana split loaves. You'll have to look it up. I've never made it. It sounds too much like work to me, but I love this stuff. Can you tell? It actually took away from me eating more fruitcake the last couple of days. So soon as I finish taping, which will probably make this video quite short, I'm going to eat the rest of this. I'm in heaven. So the other big, big thing is when my nephew and his whole family couldn't come Christmas Eve because they live about 30 miles away, maybe less. Um, it's because on Christmas morning, we added a new baby to the family. So I'm thrilled. Um, how special, how special is Christmas? Today is the day after Christmas, my, my, my sugar coma day. I got up, ran a couple of errands, went to the post office. I got um, a litter genie for the cat's um, waste. I'm gonna start using that. Hopefully that's good. If any of you have that, don't tell me bad things because I just wasted my money on it. But it looks like it's gonna be pretty good. Feisty, my younger cat still isn't feeling well. And boy, I know I'm a horrible cat mother, but I'm trying not to take her to the vet. I, that, that money is not in the budget. <laughs> So I'll give it another day and see if she feels better. And then I'm going to have to break down and take her. <sighs> Today, as I come back to reality, I started um, working on the laundry room. It's coming okay. I actually, too, went through all the cupboards above that I had painted and emptied them out of everything I could. There's almost nothing left. So that was good. And I'm going to say how lazy I've been, but I'm still doing things. I am itching to put the Christmas decorations away. And remember I said it this year that if I did it later, maybe I wouldn't mind leaving them up. Nope. Around five o'clock last night, it was like, okay, let's pack them up. It's too much clutter for me. Even this, I love this, but it gives me a certain little bit of, ugh, um, to have, have it out. Sorry, but there's a UPS guy or some kind of Amazon or somebody just standing at the window looking at me. All righty then, he left. Oh, it's very weird. Tomorrow, we'll go back to reality and um, I'm doing my countdown because next week, Nikki goes back to school full time. I am so looking forward to this challenge of um, and I shouldn't say challenge because I just think it's an, an act of love of taking care of the little one. I mean, I am just thrilled. Of course, I may have to nap every day, but I'm thrilled. What is he doing? He's back. <sighs> Something for the tenant, not for me. I hate when I say this, or anybody else does too, like I wanted to say, because if I want to say, why don't I just say, but you, there's got to be some kind of introduction to that. I wanted to say how grateful I was for everybody who reached out and said Merry Christmas. I think there were over 200 posts of Merry Christmas. Um, I felt so special and so thought about and um, not necessary, but a nice feeling and I hope you know that I actually think about all of you that way too which is why right now we're sitting down because it was like I gotta check on everybody how their Christmas went and I want to know so many of you have plans but a great deal of you have a quiet day which after my initial hour in the morning I had a very quiet day and I think as I get older I don't mind the quiet days at all so I hope if you had a quiet day 
it was one full of joy. I think that's so important that we acknowledge every minute of the day, even on my lazy times, I'm acknowledging how happy I am, which means I'm acknowledging quite a bit because I've been so lazy. <sighs> Somebody asked me to repost the um, floor plans for the new granny flat, as you call it in Europe, um, and we call it an in-law apartment. I have had to redesign it. I've got it down where I want, but um, Nick and Mike have to approve it. And Monkey Wrench, I had been wanting to build over the new garage. Michael was adamantly opposed to it because as you get older, doing the stairs, you know, yada, yada. I get it, but it's a lot less expensive. And I would like the idea of being up. I mean, 46 years here, I've always lived high. Even the first floor is raised, you know, a story from the street. So I was all over that and he said no. Well, they've been talking, getting ready to talk to contractors and seeing how much less expensive it is if you build up instead of behind. I'm not sure it will happen, but I had priced out elevators and he thought I was nuts. They're not expensive, uh, a private elevator. If it's a lot more cost effective to put an elevator that hopefully I will never use, but I will have it there and still build up. Um, he's talked to a couple of people that urged him to look at that. So that's now a possibility, which means I had to redesign the floor plan because I won't have an attached wall to the garage and I can do more windows and rearrange things. It's done. But rather than show you and then have Michael and Nikki go, can we change this and change this? Um, I'll wait until they meet with the contractor and I'll give them the two different sets of plans that I like and we'll play Let's Make a Deal. So you'll get to see them, but they're 99% in my mind done. That means nothing. So Christmas is over. 2023, almost in the books. It's amazing. I have no plans for New Year's. I will gladly stay home. I'm looking forward to 2024 with every ounce of my being. So for me, 2023 is not a bad year to say goodbye to, although it was a wonderful, wonderful year for my family. If you have big plans, I want to know. If you have things that, tell me, what are the things that you're so grateful for from 2023? We all know I had so much gratitude, retired, sold the business instead of losing it. That's a huge thing. Had a grandchild. I can't get much bigger than that. So my 2023 goes down in history as one of my top three years. The other ones being birth of two children. Things that I'm sorry about or sad about for 220, 2023. Selling the salon, I lost friendships with all my staff. I was 90% sure it would happen. It's just human nature, but that's still probably my biggest sadness from 2023. Um, and it in no way impacts how wonderful my year was. You know what I'm looking forward to in 2024, another big year, uh, spending a huge quality time with my granddaughter, hopefully getting the house sold and the new one built. What is your biggest sadness from 2024? If you want to share it, um, much more importantly, what was your biggest happy times from 2024? Um, that would be wonderful to share. For 2024 comes, I'm sure I'll speak to you again, mainly because we have to talk about getting ready for New Year's Eve night and all the things you have to do to have a successful new year. And you know that I believe in it now because my years have gotten better every time, ever since I've done it. So I'll go through that in the next video. You might as well wait for it, give you something to look forward to. Now, it's time for me to dig into the rest of my banana split bar, which is not a bar, I eat it like a wolf. So I'll talk to you again. Please have a great couple of days. I'm done.